what's going on guys welcome back to another video and this is actually like a very random video because mostly on my channel i make videos on like metal or you know street fighter and this is like so random and nobody expected me to make this video but i secretly love korean shows and this is my first time watching a uh, korean drama i mostly watch like korean horror horror shows or stuff like, like action shows but this is my actually first time watching a, a korean drama and um we're gonna rate it it came out this year uh there might be a season two coming um but we're gonna be talking about it because i ain't gonna lie it kind of touched me it touched me a lot so that sounded weird um it it really spoke to me basically um so basically if you haven't seen the show i don't think i want to even go in depth of what the show even is just have to watch i don't really feel like explaining it basically just a k drama where this guy moves into this i wouldn't call it like an apartment but like a shared house and um it's just a bunch of random people and one of the people there one of the uh one of the uh people who live there is a a celebrity for this um for this group called uh, i think it was called dream suite or something like that and basically her she fell off she left the she left the group and then she was staying there low-key and then when he when the guy moved there the guy in the black they moved he, he moved there and then they just fell in love i guess all right that's like to, to in a nutshell basically but this show is like I usually don't watch dramas because, well, I don't know. I, I, I usually just don't watch dramas, but uh, this one was like it, it, it was kind of sad, especially the ending. The ending kind of had me. Um, another reason why I like this show is because I could relate to it a lot. Um, like I could relate to what he was going through, um, talking to a girl who is a little bit shady, and like does this and that and she's kind of sneaky and she does this and she does a lot of like sneaky stuff and she's shady and you can't really trust her a lot so i knew what he was going through i'm like damn i kind of feel this guy um so at the ending it's just really like oh so if you haven't seen it i probably just i don't know if i spoiled it but um if you're watching this you probably did see it already so but um yeah the ending had me a little bit um but not only could I, could I relate to it a lot, I, I think it, it, the, the storytelling was pretty good. It was based off of a, um, off of a, uh, a webtoon, and I, I love comics. Like I, I have a huge comic collection. I have a huge manga collection. I don't like webtoons. I think webtoons are corny. I just don't like the art styles of most webtoons, and I just don't like webtoons. But um, not talking about the actual webtoon but it is based off a of webtoon so i guess it did a good job whoever wrote the webtoon did, did a great job i guess but um I, I i don't even know where i'm trying to go with this video if i was to rate the show from one to ten i'd give it a like seven and a half like i want to give it an eight but i'm gonna give it a seven mostly because the show kind of made me sad and i think like any other normal normal person they don't want to be sad but i think that's you know i i think that I, I should have expected that going into a, a a drama show so maybe i should have expected to get a little bit a little bit emotional a little bit sad but um yeah when i i just finished the show literally like 10 minutes ago um the end the ending made me sad and i and at the end of the episode in my head i'm like why did i watch this like i wish i never watched this because now i'm sad um so it, it will probably make you sad the uh the show but um it's pretty good storytelling and it, I, i'd say it was pretty decent i'd say it's pretty good um i think i heard there's, they're making a season two if they are i probably will watch it but um i don't know i feel like the ending is kind of disappointing it's like well what's next you know like so I'm 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 just gonna talk about the ending now. So if you haven't seen the show, well, then I guess you just leave. But if you have seen it, then I guess you can stay. The ending, I like I I'm just it kind of left me on a cliffhanger. I'm like like what's gonna happen next? So, like they hugged and then they left each other, so they're not talking anymore. Um, he made the decision, by the way, to 
stop dating her and i was like why'd you do that like she, she's stable now because like i said from experience like I, i've had ex like, like past relationships with um with people who are not stable just mentally just not there and really shady and sneaky so i'm like well now she's not now she's now she's not shady and sneaky anymore now she's now she's stable so why are you like why are you giving up on her so i was a little bit confused about that decision still confused. i just still don't know why he made that decision um maybe i'll have to watch a video of somebody explaining the ending because they probably know more than me um but i was like that, that's why. why why did you leave her when she's all stable now and he's like oh well if you went back to your you know your um if you became a celebrity again, I'd still be with you. And he, he kind of lied. Um, and then at the end of the show, she just like knocked on his door, went into his room and, and uh, well, he opened the door for her and then they went inside the house and she was like, tell me that you're, you're sorry. And then he's literally crying saying, I'm sorry. She's crying too. And then she was like, tell me that you regret it. And he said he regrets it. And I'm like, well then, Why'd you do that? Like, it was just so confusing to me. But, um, at the end, he was just like, yeah, I regret it, but just leave me alone. Like, just, I, I don't know why he doesn't want her to be with her. Like, I don't understand. Maybe he doesn't want to be with a celebrity because that celebrity is a big, like, I don't even know. Okay, I might have, someone has to explain this to me. I'm gonna have to watch a video or something. Um, but, yeah, the ending kind of confused me a little bit. Kind of left me on a cliffhanger. But um, besides the two main characters, the side characters are also pretty cool as two. Uh, uh, they're pretty cool as well. Um, the the one girl, I think her name was Jinju or something like that. Um, there was one point in the show where I was rooting for her to get with um, the, the main character, the main guy. Can't remember his name. Some weird Korean name. Um... There was one point where I was rooting for her because I didn't want to, I didn't want to root for that girl, girl in the middle, uh, Dona, Duna, Donut, because I don't like her. I didn't like her at the time. I'm like, bro, she's freaking weird. But, um, I, I, th I think the main character, I think, I think the main guy just kept making bad decisions over and over again. Like you, you stopped talking to, to Jinju, which was like the right option. Stop, you, like that she was the correct choice stop talking to her so you could get with her and and then at the end of the day it didn't work out like what are you doing um but i don't even know <laughs> like i'm just so confused um overall i think it was good i i, I love korean shows um so and lately content has been really dry like i can't find anything to watch Right now my Hulu isn't working, so I don't I can't watch Hulu and I was in the middle of watching an anime as well. So I have nothing to watch on YouTube. I have no shows to watch. So once I discovered, oh, a new Korean show, hell yeah, let's go. It's a drama, but we'll still watch it. I'm like, alright, let's go. Watched it. It was pretty cool. Um so yeah, I give it like a seven and a half, maybe like an eight out of ten. Um in terms of like drama slash romance, I give it like a seven 7.5 or a 8 out of 10 but in general how did i like it i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 uh mostly because i'm more used like i don't really watch drama shows especially um irl drama shows like like dramas that are live action like most dramas that i would watch are from animes and I've seen romance animes, of course. I've seen all genres of anime. Um, but I'm mostly into, like, the action animes, the, um, you know, stuff like that. You know, stuff stuff that has a lot of fighting. Like, you know, my, my favorite anime is Attack on Titan. So that's to say something about the anime and the show that I like. Um, but, yeah, I, I think in, in terms of a... a slash, like, I, I think in terms... Oh my god, I can't speak. In terms of drama slash romance i think i'd give it like a seven and a seven and a half or an eight out of ten but just overall how do i feel about it like a six out of ten um if the season two comes out probably will watch it but um 
if that's it for the show then wow what an ending so <laughs> uh i think that's it for the video um pretty random no one expected this but uh there you go maybe i should do more reviews and it, i all of the information is on the top of my head because i just finished the show 10 minutes ago and this it has nine episodes by the way nine episodes all the episodes are like around 40 minutes long and i started watching it yesterday no i started watching it sunday and i just finished it today which is tuesday so it took me three days to finish it but i could have watched it in one day and i was planning on doing that um but i had school so that's it for the video um if you've seen it let me know what you guys think about it but yeah pretty random i don't like this is so random but yeah uh donut review uh seven and a half or eight out of ten so yeah there you go there's donut donut